Right now, let's talk about parallel nodes. Um, you can still add a parallel node basically the way you add all other nodes, um, and you just go parallel node or you just out p as a shortcut. So as you notice, now let me just command control z and out p again just to bring it back. Right. If you notice, it added an, uh, one node again and itself uh, as the parallel uh, the parallel node in front of. Uh, these two nodes here. For example here, I can even add um, uh, one input as well. You can add more input as you want. Like you can, um, for example, add uh, an output, add an alpha output, remove output, or you can say uh, add another input, like add one input. That's what I was going for. There we go. So we have three but this one actually has no input coming in. Like we haven't linked it to anything, so it won't affect the parallel node for now. So let's just concentrate on these two. Right. If I have to I select this node here, and I'm going to change the color to say the highlights to red, right? I'll just change everything to red on this one a little bit reddish it looks like that this node here and you can see we are affecting this node but it's showing up into the power node so let's get this one here as well and I'll change this one to green and this one green and green so as you can tell like we have these two different nodes uh, with different color corrections and um, but it's still showing up in the power node that's pretty tricky right no, it's not. Uh, what it's doing, it's having these two and putting it into one parallel node and like kind of combining all the loops and making one image, making one input. It's really helpful when you think of it sometimes when you need to blend colors or whatever you may have. Uh, for example, even if I had to add a mask on this, uh, no, I would take this uh, mask here. If I have to do that, uh, only want to select the top with this one and I go to the other node the bottom one then I add another mask I want to put it bottom right what's this node doing it's um, select it just showing us what we have here and compositing it into one a uh, little node like it's m think of it as a more compositing node in a way but now what happens is if i have to take uh these masks right and just overlay them a bit you can see the color change between these two between this area here because it's mixing the top color and the bottom color of these nodes trying to make an effect or a different look for it instead of just leaving it as plain or having the other one on top of it so the way it works if you have one on top and the other one at the bottom, what it does is it doesn't really combine them in a layer mode where you say the one on top will show on top. It blends them together uh, as opposed to, uh, to the layer node in which I'll explain in the next tutorial. So I think you get the point here. If there's any question, feel free to put in the comments box. I will be very happy to uh, answer you. Then I can learn from you as well. Thank you.